and recording in all, progress. <laughs> and all the lines on this page will go to you, Cookie, because they're really short. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Okay, um, Ikeshiki ne, ah, so Ikeshiki ne, um, Iongaku, um, Tenki. Tenki wa, Wakaranai kedo, um, Ooh, I wonder what they're talking about. It's like it's a beautiful scenery, um, beautiful music or something. Maybe they're talking about the weather. Yeah. Well, they 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 haven't talked about the weather yet, but tenki does mean weather. Yeah. Um, they're just talking about this current situation they're at. So we got there's a beautiful scene. The music is good, mm. and as for the weather, what kind of night it all? They don't really get the weather. Yeah, I don't really know what's up with the weather. She's not saying the weather is good. Maybe the weather is bad. Um, yeah. no ii hi da ne. Oi, ogokuna. And then she changes rather than saying, wakaranai kedo, I don't really understand. She goes over to say, it is a day that makes you, that feels good. Um, it's a very nice day. And then the other character says, oh, hey, stop moving, because she's getting her hair cut right now. Which is hard to tell. Yeah. Um, next two bubbles for you, Cookie. Uh, dekai an, anna da na, do yate deki tan. Okay, so, um, there's a big hole. Um, what do we do? Or, like, what can we do? That is a theoretical. So, yaru does mean to do, and do does mean what. Do yate means what to do, or what, all those type of things. However, this ends in te. And contextually, but since it's in the same bubble, we can assume this is all one sentence. So it means our tense here is right here at ta. Dekita. Mm -hmm. Do yate dekita. So it's not what to do, it is how was this done? Dekita oh, fair enough. Uh, means um, yeah. to be able to do in past tense, so to be able to have done. So she says, how did they do this? How were they able to do this? Exactly. And then we have that all. Mm -hmm. You know what that all means? I wonder. Yeah. I wonder how they made this. It's such a big hole. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, wait. What's a mon in this case? Kind of just not. She's saying it's in this, this kind of thing. It's just kind of like filler words for going into the next line probably oh, like answering kind of the matter. question yeah this, this yeah. kind of thing um and then that is uh, ga daibu boza boza ni natte kedo, which she's basically totally ignoring the other character i guess she's saying so this is like the, the thing we have going on right now her the tips of her hair has basically she has split hand split hairs is what it's saying um yeah. oh, boza boza and I would say the first two bu panels for you, so four bubbles. Yep. Uh, sappo, no, sappo ri shita na, watashi mo yu mo. Um, okay, so I think it's like, um, we've made ourselves, like, neat and tidy, um, me and you, um, yeah. And it's like, kyoto kirisugi da kana, um, I think she's like, I think I cut a bit too much, or I wonder Perfect. if I cut a bit too much. Uh, namo kawate naijan. Um, I think she means nothing much has changed. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You, you haven't changed at all. She's just on the course of the like, yeah. just a little noise. She's like, I cut my hair. What are you talking about? Um, ne, ana no shita no ho ni orite mi. Uh, mio yo, which says, hey, let's go try a going down into that hole over there. Um, and the next two bubbles for you, Cookie. Okay. So, that, uh, Mizu no Otto mo surushi. It's like, he's like, maybe we should, or something. The, the sound of the water, um, like, also, like, does water sounds or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the so... she, like, talks about what they said earlier. Uh, kind of. It's probably oreru kana, which is, um, can we go down? That would be the logical thing. Um, because it's potential form, so e, 
with the do, because what do you do? Mm. Wait, never mind. That's not potential farm. What do you do? What do you do? Well, orite is te farm. Makes me think it's food. It food. Food. Let's let's go. To, it's not in the dictionary, because that's not a normal conjugation of that. Orite. Yeah, it doesn't look. Um, yeah. It just means to descend. So it has the same meaning as the other orite, but it's yeah, just so conjugated differently. It's just it's weird because yeah. oridu. Is I'm guessing it's a slurring, some kind of common slur, like a weird slur, because that, that's not how it's supposed to conjugate. Should be to conjugate it. Yeah, I would have thought so too. Sometimes things get um, conjugated weird. For example, taberu, to eat, will mm. be conjugated weirdly. Um, sometimes, like as a slurring, like taberareru. Well, can tend to just be taberu, which is not grammatically correct, but you will see that in yeah. things. So I'm guessing it's that. It's a the da has been dropped due to slurring because they're talking, but it is weird. So yeah, so I, so I, I guess I get. I, I wonder if we can. So with dedu, that would be insinuating a potential form. Yeah. Um. Okay. Then. Next bubble for you. Oops. Okay. Ah, kokomo suiburi. Yeah, I need to look at that definition. is um, quite a bit, basically, in this context. Like, taksan. Oh. Over here, also over here, um, it seems um, quite a lot of weapons have fallen in. Something like that. Kind of. The word in isn't here. Just basically she says, like, there's a lot of weapons around here, but, like, literally they've fallen. Like, there are a bunch yeah. of weapons have dropped around here, basically. Um, Ochita can be, like, you can, if you lose something, sometimes you drop it type of idea. Mm. Yappari, uh, hidoi tadakai ga atan... As expected, I be I think there was kind of like some kind of horrible uh, battle here. Um, and the next three bubbles for you, Cookie. Um, can such a battle be even be done? Oh, good guess. Out here, good guess. Good guess. Possible? Good guess. So this is confusing. This is one sentence. Kono ana mo sono takai de dekita toka. Oh, okay. Um, can this whole and this battle be here? Hmm. Good guess. Like, what is? The de particle mark. We got takai, which is the noun for battle. Then we have the particle de. What is the particle de mark in Japanese? I think there's just two by things. means of. It means by means of. So this is our tool. So our tool yeah. and our subject is whole. So the whole with the tool with the fight as a tool was it dekitad? Do you know what dekiru means? Uh, to be able to do. It does mean that. There's a second meaning of dekiru that's been used in this book, which means to be built. Um, normally it's de dekiru, which they have literally right here with de plus dekiru, to mean to be built using some kind of tool, which in this case is the fight. The battle was used to create this specific hole. So, for example, yeah. this hole was made through that battle. And then her friend mm. goes... Dokana, which is like, I wonder about that. Which is like, eh, what she's basically hell? saying, eh, I don't know. Could be. It's possible. That's a dokana. It's like, if it's just a non committal, like, yeah, I guess. Type of yeah. thing. Um, I'm not which you got anymore. That is. Hodai. Hodai ga mirito. Um. Uh, it, this is actually it's one it's sentence. I mean, you could translate it here, but the to would be connecting to the next panel. That is a yeah. conjunction. 
But it is an ended little... clause, so you could stop yeah. there and connect it. I'll just stop here because I like to, you know, do things one bubble at a time. Um, okay, so the hole's interior also has, um, that is artillery. Um, atari suru basho, hmm. Oh my god, I forgot what the th tari means. Tari um, is for example. Yes, that's right. So it has things like, um, for example, an artillery battery. And this is a place that has such things. Um, and we see that. And... Okay. So I would translate it that part as when looking at the place that has things like artillery batteries inside of this hole... Mm -hmm. how I do that because to when you say mirito means when looking basically like when you look the next thing is what you see I see when you look at that yeah. did I say that right yeah. Mukashi. Yeah. Good. Mukashi. I, I remembered I okay I remembered um when you see that this whole uh like i think they're referencing the the uh, the ability to build this hole or make well, it happen so dekiru can means to be able to what is the other meaning of dekiru to descend no dekiru the second meaning of dekiru is to be built. I typed that built, fast. Yeah. To be built. Sorry, the numbers on the stairs. So I was thinking, oh, you start from one end at two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just doing the number saying there's two meanings. First meaning. Yeah, that check. was my fault too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So the building of this hole, um, what does it do? Um, like, ha must have been like real a really long time ago or something. Perfect. And yeah. why do they? Why does this character think this hole was built a long time ago? Um, because if you're seeing things like artillery batteries in there, that you know people would be careful enough to not actually let fall into such holes, then it's probably been here for a long time. But like something like that. Specifically, I think she's yeah. like comparing like the age of those type of things, like. They seem to be different, um, whatever. But I don't know enough about artillery batteries to say for sure. So she says, um, a long time ago, this big hole was made in a battle. And um, the surroundings built a city over the ruins of that battle and then once again they started um fighting or something like that yeah yeah koshina how puzzling and hi anthony so we start with that you oh, saw yeah. <laughs> um basically the characters are entering a big hole and they are talking about how this hole was made a long time ago in battle but humans are continuing to battle and they heard the sound of water um oh sencha kara mizuga Oh, there's water coming out of the tank. So, Anthony, the next bubble will go to you. Okay, um... Chodo... Mash... Maue... Kara... Mizuga... Nagare... Konberu... Noka... It's saying, um... Chodo... Chodo is... From the very top... Water is come comes pouring down. Hi. Perfect. And theoretically no ka is kinda of like is it is that what's going on? But she's really making a statement uh -huh. here. Ah okay. Which is like, ooh it's it's cold. Naniate no what are you doing? And then she does a little dog shake and she and the other character goes, Timit which is also it's cold. Um the next two bubbles will go to Cookie. 
中心、中心まで行ったら、ご、ご飯に、wait。You're right, ご飯。Let's, okay, ご飯に、あ、uh, しようか。Okay, u、um, For example, um, 昼ご飯、朝ご飯、晩ご飯。Yeah, but, yeah, but, it's like, いったらご飯、I've never well, heard of that. Well, you got, uh, ただ。That is a clause right there, like, と。Oh, yeah, fair enough. Okay.、Mm. Uh, that holds like center or the middle,、hey. like up to there. If、hey. we go there,、um, it, it's like we can have like something to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it's saying. Shio is relational form, which basically means let's do that, and ka. Is leaving it open for the other character to say, I'm not hungry or something. <laughs> Let's be less aggressive. If you said shio period, that means I'm gonna do this, you could join me, but shio ka invites the person more to be more like this is a two person、uh, decision. Tara,、yeah. as if, in this context, is just a normal future if, which means the next time this event occurs, she says basically just when would be better. So when we enter、um, the center of that hole, Why don't we have dinner? I mean, why don't we have food? Is what this is here.、Uh, yeah. So in English, we add the why don't we here to have that yeah, why don't we have something to eat? talking thing rather than let's eat dinner, which would be if the ka wasn't there. So yeah, tada is really、yeah. fun. So this is used in future tense as a when the next time, when the, like when as in soon, kind of. Like if you said, natsu ni kittara, like when summer comes, then you could say, I'm going to go to Japan or something. So it doesn't mean every time this event occurs, it just means the next following event. So it's very useful for that. Because in English, we don't、um, separate those differences, but in Japanese, they have lots of different when ifs that are very important for when you use one or the other.、Um, yeah. Anyway, what was the other character's response to that? Why don't we eat? Food. And then it's like, y a t t a It was like, I, like, hooray. Hooray. um So, these two panels will go to Anthony. I'm assuming they're the same sentence. Okay. um Imo yaita yatsumo taksan atta ki ga suru no ni. Daibu. ね um, it's saying emo. Emo is potatoes. Ah, okay. Emo. Yatsu is just a random pronoun that.、Um, so you could say. Yaita mono or something like that. It, it doesn't really, it just is a way to put a relative clause here, basically. So if you, you like burn the, po- the potato. I mean. Hi. Imo is what again? Potato, you're right, for potato.、Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you're a little bit confused、potato. about the relative clause going on here. Imo yaita yatsu. Which is literally the potato that has been、um, cooked、Burned. as a potato, would be、ah. like if you wanted to say. It just says the thing that was cooked, which was a potato, is <laughs> literally what this says, which sounds weird in English.、Um, normally, this would be yaita imo. But basically, the reason why it says this is that they're not sure actually what the heck it is, who they're, what it is they're eating. The yatsu is saying the, the potato thing they cooked. So it's kind of like adding the word thing there. So it's not like I'm the cooked potato. It's more like the cooked potato thing. And they just separated thing and potato from each other. So it's saying、um, we need,、uh, there's lots of feelings. Mmm, kigasuru. That is a good guess. You're thinking about kimochi, which means feelings. Um,、yeah. Kiga suru means to do your aura, which means to have a feeling that something is going on. To, like, if something's fishy, that's like Kiga suru. If you feel like someone is listening to you, like, it, it, it's a feeling in a sixth sense kind of way, not an emotional、uh-huh. feeling kind of way. So she's saying, I feel like blank, but she's not saying, I feel sad, which is very confusing in English. 
uh, n totally different in Japanese. They're totally separate, those phrases. So she says, I feel like there are takusan imo, is what this says. So what does she feel like? Ah, uh, okay. Daibu hette kita ne. Considerable daibu Considerable hette is like decrease. Right. Um, it decreased considerably. Perfect. When so, what does no ni mean? No ni is the the. Mm. I guess it's translated to the t h e da. That is a good guess. Um, no ni is a conjunction that's connecting these two different ideas here. The there, I felt like there was a lot of potatoes, and these potatoes have decreased considerably. Um, the no ni means even though, like it shows that there's a contrast between these two ideas. The contrast between uh, I thought there were so many potatoes, but there's only five potatoes type of contrast going on. Uh, so she's she's just saying, man, we ate out all those potatoes so fast. I thought we had like thousands, basically is what she's saying here. Um, but yeah, kita is here. Um, to, so there's basically three ways kita is used in Japanese. Um, the version being used here is the come to be kita. It's basically the way you use naru to become in with verbs. Um, so it means to become decreased. So it has. So if you just okay. said kita, that's a little bit boring. Versus, uh, het, sorry, heta is a little bit boring. So hette kita just um, feels more human because it's come to be decreased. Um, next to bubbles for cookie. Okay, uh, kami no ke wa kireba sappari suru ke do. Okay, um, okay, I'll do the next one. Kochi ga nakunaru no wa, um, and then that bit. Sappari was the night, the tidy word, that tidy sound effect. Sappari. Yep. And uh, what was the the last line? The verb in the last line. Um, sabi Something shina. Sabishina. Yeah, I think Anthony said it, didn't he? Yeah, sabishina. Okay. Or did you say money? No, I said the same thing, I but I said it really quietly because I wasn't sure. Because <laughs> I get sabishi and ki uh, uh, kitsui. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't they tell. Similar kitsui. Uh, yeah. So it's like um. So if we is a if we cut our hair, um somebody should we'd become we would become like neat so, and tidy and everything. But sorry? No, you're right. Okay. Uh coaching on the kunaru no wa um hmm. Over here If we didn't, like, if we didn't, if we weren't like that... What does nai like, mean? What? Not. Hi, so nakunaru, ku, here with naru to become, means to become none. So, there's not to... So, this right here, this is the no, uh, becoming none for us, basically. The the ga here, kochi ga, is weird. Kochi ga nakunata. Which, which, in this context, is referring to the food. It just literally mm. means this over here is the literal meaning of kochi. So it's translated as a lot of different things in different contexts. We don't say this over here in English. That's not a thing we say. So instead we say this way or me because I am over here or the thing I'm holding. Um, so mm. here he's referring to the potato they're eating. But that's a contextual thing. So he says, mm. this guy, um, we're running out of this guy. I am uh, sabishi. That's a weird word to use. I am lonely. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, it feels weird. It does feel weird, but that's what it says. Kochi ga nakunaru no wa sabishi. I'm sad if this guy goes missing. Um, yeah. Weird. Um, this part right here was also a little bit odd. I would argue this is probably habitual tense. So when you get so when you cut your hair, you you get all nice and clean. But when it goes when this guy goes miss, I don't know. It's a weird ass sentence. Um, hmm. I guess the characters are like not communicating. Maybe to Sabushi when her hair gets cut. 
she's like, like mm. did, did she like totally like switch the conversation? So she's saying like when your hair gets cut, it's very nice, but when the hair goes go- goes bye bye, you feel lonely maybe. So she says the last thing right here we're thinking is katani no bitari shinai shi, and she says um. It really should not be growing on its own. Well, specifically, it doesn't uh, grow on its... Not only that, it doesn't grow on its own, which I guess she's actually referring to potatoes. I guess they're comparing hair growing to growing potatoes. Having potatoes? Possibly. So your hair, you get more and more hair as time goes on, but you get less and less potatoes as time goes on. But why the heck is she using sabishi here? That's so weird. Maybe um, it has another meaning. Maybe. The Japanese meaning Let me of chat. it. Well, yeah, sabi lonely, desolate. I am desolate. I would guess if it's a special meaning, it'd be in the Japanese. Mm. Probably. Mm. Um, it can mean to feel hopeless. So she's saying when this goes, when this is going away, I feel hopeless. Perhaps, because mm. we don't have food type of thing, rather than being like, I feel lonely. That yeah. that makes sense. Food is very important. And then the kid goes, oh my, delicious. And then, um, next two bubbles for Anthony. Okay. Ano, misu tamari no naka ni sakana de ireba ino ni ne. Um, it's saying inside the ano mizu no tamari no na inside the tamari is a mizu tamari ah that's a puddle inside the water puddle inside the water puddle there's mi sakana de mo ireba ino ino ni ne ah. I wonder if there's like um, fish that are good. Good guess. What does no ni mean? We saw that earlier today. Um, con- something about contrast. It does have contrast. So in English, a lot of times, even though is a good way. So even though it would be good, reba. What is reba? Do you know? Ireba is like to exist. Good guess. If it's exist. Iru is to exist. That's correct. But I was asking about reba, the reba. what you do turn into ireba, but just the reba part. What does that grammar mean? Ireba, I think from guessing is like if it exists. Yes, if. So reba versus yeah. which we saw earlier as well is different than tada because reba is used as a always kind of thing. So we said itara here would mean if it was here right now is what she's talking about. But reba is like always. So she's saying it would always be good if there was like fish inside of what? And um, in the middle of the um, puddle. So so. Water if there puddle. was a fish in the water puddle, that would be so nice, is what she says. Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> but that did not. But there's not. Is why the no needs here. So the next two little bubbles goes to Cookie. Tabeta katta na ano mizu something. Uh, suiso. Yeah, that's the big guy. Uh, suiso no sakana. Um, oh my god. Uh, I forgot the kanji at the beginning of the next bubble. Tasketai. Good, thank you. Um, tasketai to ka. Uh, iteta kus. Um, that is Okay, so a lot to unpack here. Um, so our first like sentence, this is the, yeah. the first sentence. Yeah, so. So we finally eaten or like we Good were done guess. eating. What does tabetai mean? To want to eat? Correct. So tabetai means yeah. to want to eat. E ends in e, so that's where we get katta. Tabeta katta. Eated oh would have been tabeta. 
So that okay, kata, fair that's just, now it's an e adjective here. Kata. So I wanted to mm. have eaten it. Then she has that little yeah. vocal sign. Nah. And then she, this right here is what she wanted to eat. What did she want to eat? Um, fish in a fish tank. <laughs> yeah, specifically anal, that Pacific fish. So not any fish, yeah. the Pacific fish we saw earlier. And then we have mm. some more refresher talking about what happened with that fish. With Tuskatai. Oh thai. yeah, they talked about um, they, that, that fish they helped earlier, didn't they? Hi. Um, like they want to help um hmm? so the person talking in this line that you know is the black hair girl mm. um so she um so the kuseni is saying is is like um even though kind of it's like a noni a little bit but it's more mm. insulting than noni. Noni is like generic, just means even though. But here she's saying you had the F to itad um, tasketai toka is what it says here. Um, no, it's not as uh, aggressive as at the fuck to say that. But I don't I don't know what to put there. It's in between the two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but that, that's what that basically says. You had the, the gall. That's the right word. You had the gall to iteta. What does that mean? Iteta? Uh, to have said. To have said, tasketai. What does that mean? Tasketai. Uh, I want to help. Or yeah, something. I want yeah. to help. And you know what toka yeah. means? Um, things such as, yeah, or for example. So you had the, ball, the, the gall to say something like, Oh, I want to say them, but kekkyoku, what does that mean? In reality, or well, after all? Tabeta katta no kayo. What does that mean? Um, it's You're like, I saying, wanted to eat Yeah, you know. Yeah, you wanted to eat it, you know. Yeah. Um, the no kayo basically shows, like, it's kind of like kusini. It's a very, like, um, aggressive kind of, like, Wow, you really didn't actually you. wanted to do this, didn't you? Yeah, it's yeah. like, didn't you, but very aggressive. Yeah. Sore wa sore. Kore wa kore. Which is, that is that. This is this. Um, sore kasa. Sore kasa. I'm not sure what she's saying here. She says, I guess that's what it is. It's kind of as a sore then ka. Sore ka. Mm. Uh, it's doesn't really mean anything like sore wa sore. Um, next to Bubbles, go to Anthony. Koyu wana kara tabemono ga dete konai kana. Mizu dake ja nakute sa. It's saying um, this kind of um, hole, from this kind of hole, um, food won't come out of it. I wonder. Uh, I wonder, uh, Kana is like questioning it. It won't come out of this, huh? Mizu dake ja nakute sa. Even water isn't coming out. Yes. Yep. Um. So right here. It's kind of weird. She's kind of talking like tabemono, like water is an example of tabemono. So she's saying, rather than just water, mizu dake janaku. So that means rather than just water, perhaps food should be coming out of here. So in English, we would start with this. Mizu dake janakute, kouyu anakara tabemono ga dete konai kana. Which is rather than what, rather than just water, I there there won't be like something else like food coming out of this kind of hole, is uh what she's saying, but that's because of what the nakte grammar point basically means, the janakte specifically, uh so that is a hard nice. one I think. Um, the rest of the bubbles on this page goes to Cookie. So yeba, uh, suiyo is that right? Uh, I think so. Okay. So you know, uh, hmm. Yep. Damn. <laughs> huh, so doesn't pop up. Damn. 
I was so close. What is Actually, it? No, not really close. <laughs> you would assume it'd be Suyo. What? Maybe um go to Google Suyo. Translate. Maybe it might come up with a reading over there. Even better, Yomi-chan. Yomi-chan. Yomi-chan's not any better than Jisho for reading kanji. Uh, oh, fair enough. Mizu... I would say it's probably just um, Mizu-yo, because in this case it's not a compound word, it's just Mizu water and yo to use. They're two separate things, yeah. Google Translate. Well, Google Translate's not going to be any better. Um, if you really want to know, you do like <laughs> high native or something. Um, yeah, true. Uh, you, you never know what they're going to give you from Google Translate. Um, but that's not a real word. It's this use of water. So yeah, you don't need to know um, it. So mizu yo would be my guess since it's not an official yeah. compound word rather than suyo. Yeah, mizu, uh, mizu yo no aiku wa shurete kita na. Uh, what's a taiku? Well, tanku is a mizu. Oh, tanku. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did a big oopsie. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um, what's a taiku? If you say that, um, I think that's what the first line is. Um, the, to say is not the verb here. Um... Wasurete kita means to forget about. All right. Or I've come to forget about it. We're using kita here with the basically nado meaning to become. Yeah. So it's like I've come to forget about the uh, uh, use of the water in the water tank or something. Kind of. It specifically says I forgot about the tank that uses water. Yeah. Um, and that's what she's thinking as she talks about that. And then what's the next line? Next line. Uh, is that in the sheet? Yeah. Um, the, the, kunde okanaito. You didn't translate that. Kunde okanaito. Um, let me see. I don't, uh. Kuma is the scoop up I water. I can't draw out water or something. What? Yeah. You can't scoop water from it. To scoop up water. It says to yeah. draw water because that's like an old word to ladle up, to scoop up, all those words. It just mm. it means you're not using a hose; you're using like a bucket or a tool to move the water, but not a hose. Got it. And do you know what okanaito means? We got okanai from ok, and then we have negative plus a if then statement. It's like you can't put it. <laughs> negative is can't. It's and oku, you're right that um, oku could have um, this kanji to mean um, to put it somewhere. This oku, I don't think it has kanji, um, means to do in advance. So it means I do in advance scooping would be um, kunde oku. Um, as in like in preparation of starving to death or whatever. That's what it means. So it's used in a way like I should do this. I should scoop up water. And then naito, which is negative plus a when or if conditional always means must in Japanese. Literally it is, if I don't scoop up the water, something bad's going to happen. I'm, we're going to run out of water. Oh, I get it now. Um, okay, and that, that makes works sense. with all the conditionals. Um, the one you learn like in school would be nakereba naranai, which is a mouthful, and they just say it means must, but literally it is, it will not be if I do not do it. <laughs> mm. so I feel like it's actually easier to remember than just getting the mouthful of words. Um, then suddenly, ga! a strange animal has come out of the tube that she was just musing about. And I actually think we're going to stop here today at this incredibly exciting plot point. Because there's a mm. full another 10 pages left in this chapter. It's pretty long this is it the next like the exciting statues. it does you're correct oh you, you must be your